Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Solana. So on the Solana chart, the last two support zones that I communicated did hold, which left and still leaves the door open for higher prices. Um, on yesterday, I highlighted to you which support area needs to hold for the price to still, let's say, keep grinding higher. And this was the area between $150 and $155.70. I'm actually not sure if I communicated that in the YouTube video. I think it was actually in a signal to gold members later in the day because we did not see that dip into the support area or the test of the support area until later in the day. So if you want to be up to date, feel free to check out our gold membership. But that support area uh, was respected. Very important. These are support areas, not targets. Okay, um, they don't need to be touched. They often are, but on the micro level, sometimes I don't show the highest FIPS because otherwise you only have boxes. It's more about, okay, what's the key level? And the key level is down here, the $150 level. Yesterday, the statement was as long as $150 is holding, higher prices can still be expected in this unfolding diagonal pattern to the upside, okay? And we seem to be doing that. Actually, it seems to be an impulse, okay? But anyway, micro support did hold, micro support did hold here as well. And we seem to be moving up in a five wave move from that 13th of May low, from the Monday low, 13th of May. So five waves up isn't that bullish. Well, it could be. It definitely keeps the door open for higher. But if we look at the context, yeah, um, it also allows for the interpretation that after this fifth wave finishes, it finishes the C wave of wave Y of wave B. How does that um, come together? Well, obviously from this initial decline that started in March, we have an ABC structure down in wave A, then a B wave rally, which could be a WXY structure, W, X, Y, and then the Y is an ABC. And that means here, especially around $184, there is a high risk that this B wave completes it just means that in this area we need to have we need to be on high alert that a top is forming and we start to break down not saying we will but be on high alert if then support breaks that would be our signal that the c wave to the downside has started um so looking at looking at this b wave rally then I will keep the door open for higher prices as per the orange scenario, as long as we're holding support levels. Now, I can't give you a new support area yet. I can do that once I see a top in place there. That would be support for orange wave B, because we're dealing here with an ending diagonal in wave C in the orange count. So it means the third wave would most likely be an ABC structure and should reach $205 plus. Um, again, there's a yellow count where we could see a failure around 184. And yellow is not preferred until we break support. And the reason is that a WXY structure is usually less reliable than an ABC. But still, it's to be taken seriously because it's um, the $184 level is the 100% extension of the initial rally. Okay, so all I can share with you is, okay, we've got a corrective rally, most likely. This here seems to be a five wave move in the yellow count. This could mean it's completing the wave C of Y of B. Um, but in the orange count, this could be the A wave of the third. So it's very simple. As soon as this fifth wave, the micro count is the same. As long as this fifth wave is complete or until it's com or when it's complete, I will give you a support zone for the B wave pullback. And only if that support breaks, we have a larger um, top in place. So looking at the micro then you can see that we can already identify from the swing low as i said the 13th of may we could see a wave one we could see a wave two a third wave likely topped um yesterday the fourth wave tested support successfully and the fifth wave could now be unfolding but i already mentioned earlier today on on discord that i can see the potential for maybe one or two more let's say upward squiggles in this fifth wave. And I must say, I have to adjust here the wave degree of these five waves. Otherwise I'm running out of degrees. And then looking at the, really the micro, I would say 
there is a good chance to call this here a wave one, wave two. This here might actually be another one too. So it might be that this is now the third, fourth, fifth, but maybe there's another four, five. This is where we shouldn't really try to count absolute micro counts on these altcoins, but this is sort of where we can still recognize some structures. Whoops. So, and that means um, this fourth wave, um, yeah, needs to hold a higher low. As soon as I can identify the next support area, I will communicate that today on Discord. Um, and, you know, for anybody else tomorrow in the video, you'll see the next updates. Um, but this is sort of what I'd be watching for today. That means I would, um, you know, th th there is a high likelihood for one more high, at least, you know, in this yellow count. Um, but I will work on a on additional support zones once possible. And once they break, it would indicate, okay, possibly that larger degree C wave sell off is on the way. But at the moment, we are still forming higher highs, higher lows, which means we go with, oops, we simply go with a short term trend and um, the next upside, the main resistance, next upside resistance is around $184. We're getting closer there now. Um, there is structural resistance here. This is just a structural resistance level. Previous swing high, $176. Pay some attention to that. It's just structural resistance. And then here there is one more and that is very much in line with that $184 level. That's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.